Notre Dame quarterback Jeff Cohn is joining us. Thanks for the time, Jack. We'll go straight no to problem. questions. Let's go straight to questions, starting off with George. Hey, Jack. Um, sorry about the loss there today. Um, you go out and you throw 509 yards um, in a uh, in a college game on su- on a on a uh, January 1st. Some of what happened over your last year here in Notre Dame and um, how it led into today. Yeah, I mean, I think the you know Coach Reese had a great game plan um, as far as passing the ball for us. Um, so he called some great plays for, uh, for me. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess it was a lot of yards, but at the end of the day, all I really care about is winning and losing. And I wish I could have done a little bit more to help the team. Len? Is he coming back next year? Jack, once again, just uh, going off of Tommy Reese's game plan, uh, when, when Oklahoma State came back, what did you see defensively that uh, caused some wrinkles and challenges? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I feel like they were just making more plays, to be honest. Um, I don't think they were doing anything crazy to, you know, confuse me or the offense. Um, at the end of the day, they were just making plays, and, and we weren't. So I'd say that was the biggest thing. Angelo? Jack, obviously, you know, it was a fantastic first half for the offense, and and then no, no points there until late in the second half. How – how tough of a pill is that to swallow to to end your career and your time in Notre Dame in that in that fashion with the way the game developed? Yeah, I mean it's definitely very tough uh, when you have a lead like that at half. Uh, you want to be able to build upon that and obviously win. Um, I mean any loss hurts, um, no matter what kind of game it is. So definitely hurts and uh, use it as motivation for whatever I'm in next. Jack, I was interested in your assessment of sort of how the freshman offensive tackles held up in pass pro. Uh, and then did how clear was it early in bull prep that this was going to be a, a pass first, second, and maybe pass third type of game plan uh, with you and Coach Reese collaborating? Yeah, I mean, I think the freshman tackles did an amazing job. I mean, those guys are unbelievably talented, and they work extremely hard. And, you know, I have all the trust in the world in those guys. And the fact that they're going to be here, you know, the next few years is pretty scary for other teams. And yeah, I mean, I think from pretty early on, I, I knew we were going to have to pass the ball a lot to win. Their defense is, you know, outstanding at stopping the run um, and loading guys in the box. So I knew we were going to have to, you know, win outside. After. Jack, what kind of uh, adjustments or, or different looks or new looks did you see uh, Oklahoma State's defense kind of throw at you guys uh, as the game went on? And I just asked that question. Uh, can you repeat the question? Sorry. Uh, were there some kind of looks that Oklahoma State threw at you uh, as the game went on that maybe you weren't on the scouting report or some new stuff that they did that you hadn't seen on film? Yeah, I don't really think they did anything new. Um, I mean, they're very multiple in what they do as far as coverages. So they're always you know, mixing and matching those. But at the end of the day, they were just making plays and we weren't. So that was the biggest thing. Aiden? Hey, Jack, uh, two questions. One, um, what did you see on that interception in the fourth quarter um, and how that play developed? And then two, uh, looking at, again, kind of some of the freshman talent, Lorenzo at his first career 100-yard receiving game. What have you seen from him as the season progressed and uh, how he played today? Yeah, I'd say on the interception, you know, I just thought that uh, I was going to be able to backdoor the guy. Obviously, he read my eyes well and came back on it. Um, And he made a great play. Um, At the end of the day, it's tough, and I should have probably worked outside and threw to someone else. But... You know, that's football. And as far as, you know, the, the young receivers and, and, you know, Zoe, you know, he's a special player. And I've known it from since day one. You know, he's been an extremely hard worker. You know, he, he's an amazing athlete. And, you know, the fact that he's going to be back, too, is pretty scary for, you know, other defenses. Eric? Hey, Jack. Um, two-parter, what did you learn about Marcus Freeman as a head coach during the month of December? The second part of it is, as you're watching this team from a distance next year, what do you expect to see in this 2022 Notre Dame football team? Yeah, I mean, I'd say, you know, just from being around Coach Freeman more, just seeing how competitive he is and how much energy he has. You know, he's always incorporating some sort of competition into, you know, whatever we're doing. You know, the guys have loved that, and it's been, you know, a ton of fun. And he's just such a genuine guy. And, you know, it's it's great to be around him. He's just such a real person, great guy, family man. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't have enough good things to say about him. Um, 
And yeah, as far as what the offense next year, you you're asking. Yeah, the team next year. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, there's a ton of guys coming back, and you know, the team's going to be super talented. Um, and you know, just the way this team works, and you know, you know, being in the you know in the weight room with Coach Bayless and his staff, like just building the guys mentally, mentally and physically. You know, this team, you know, will always be you know a power in college football. Any other questions for Jack? Angelo, go ahead. Yeah, Jack, one, one follow up um, just on Tyler Buckner and, and what you saw from his development throughout the year and what you think he will be able to do for, for the program next year. Yeah, I mean, it's been amazing watching him grow. I mean, he's just a super smart guy. Um, you know, he picked up the offense, you know, extremely well and is continuing to learn it more in depth, you know, each and every day. And you know, I got to watch that throughout every practice. And, you know, he's an amazing athlete. He's an amazing thrower. And he's going to be electric to watch next year. And I'm super excited. All right, Jack. Thank you for the time. Thank you.